Now it's getting dark, so we should go home. Hey, D. There you are. I've been worrying my ass off. You need to call search and rescue. Um, what? There's a body in the cave. It's Brian Goodwin. <gasps> Gotta be fucking kidding me. How does that... <clears throat> what? I don't... <sighs> How? Climbing, I think, or made to look like a climbing accident. I, I think that's just what it was. I mean, he was probably exploring the cave and, and maybe his rope gave out. But whoever locked me in there probably didn't even know about him. What do we do now, D? I mean, are you okay? No, I'm not. He'd be alive if I had told someone he was out here. I don't know where he'd be, but I can assure you it would not be rotting at the bottom of that cave. I... There's... there's... There's nothing to say. The hike back. I think we're leaving tomorrow anyway. Day 79. It's time to go home for realsies. Well, that's what we hope, at least. Put my type typewriter in the bag. Store for safer later. Yeah. You see that plane? Uh, no, I was just busy packing up. Well, there's going to be a lot more. The service says this thing is 2% contained. Well, is this the flapjack fire or the site fire or...? Well, the two fires merged into one unmitigated disaster. They're renaming it after my lookout. You about packed up? Shouldn't we talk for a sec, you know, about things? About what? About how all this stuff is connected. The surveillance, the Goodwins, Brian's death. Look, I don't know what to say, okay? It's like, it's like the universe cooked up the cruelest thing to have happen. Does it connect to everything else? I don't know. I don't know if I even want to. Of course you do. There, there's gotta be a reason. Does there? Maybe. Maybe not. I wouldn't even know where to begin. Um... For starters, I guess you could find the source of that signal. Holy crap. Yeah. Uh, oh my god. We don't know what it is. It could be nothing. Yeah, it could also be whoever was listening to us. Who, whoever made the tape. Okay. Yeah, um... Look, you should pack up everything you need in case we get the call and you can't come back. Alright, look. If, if something happens... Way ahead of you. I you. I mean, am I walking into a trap right now? rather remember you from a bar somewhere and not a jail cell. Please find who made that tape. Let's find the tape. But it's really dusty, so. If this was me out here, I'd be like sneezing every five seconds probably. What's your status? From all the smoke and shit. I think I'm getting close. Alright, well I just got word that they are coming to get us. My place. You sound worried. No, it's... it's just... Brian? I'll coordinate with the evac team and let you know when to head towards the tram. It's north. Far. Past where you found that cut back in May. There's an emergency tram out there that will let you hike to the rendezvous point at my lookout. Beep, beep, beep.
Someone left a rope for me to climb up. I'm down near the lake. How do you know it's for you? There's a tracking collar tied to it. Someone was leading me here. And there's another tape. Plus, my name's oh my right God, there. <laughs> Which might be a big, you know, key. Whoa, what is going on with that rope? Yeah. Surveillance operation. Okay, what does that mean? What is it? It was Ned Goodwin. He was the one listening to us, just him. Ned Goodwin? He made the tape? Yeah. He's gone D deeper into the Shoshone. He doesn't want anyone to know he's out here. The. Because he killed Brian. Because he killed his fucking son. He's got a, a, a survival bunker with radios and everything. He made it all up. Just don't need that. <laughs> need to get back here. They say the helicopters are making rounds. Okay. Goodwin was the one who wrote the reports I found at the site. The other ones that I kind of like picked up and just put away real quickly were just variations of that where they weren't like properly filled in and everything you should see some of the stuff he was working on I guess he had the boom box on his hands. <laughs> this boom box looks familiar he was rigging up stolen batteries to keep his stuff going He's got a radio base station up here. He was listening to us on that. He wrote down everything he did to us. And everything he did every day. He was scared shitless. I bet. This dude was not well. Mama Grizz. He had quite the view. I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. I don't know what you want me to say. We're in the middle of a fire that is at 22,000 acres and growing fast. It's gonna burn all of this up. Well, take a picture if you're so keen to remember it. You're not? I don't know. What 
Take all the photographs. I don't think I can get up that way. No! I don't want to beat someone up with the... The wave receiver. Alright. Let's find our way out of here. For good. I do remember this part being long and kind of convoluted. because you go like a weird path than what you normally would. Alright. Damn it. Alright, so we're here. So the best way would be just to go around the lake, through the canyon, and then up that way. To the northernmost section of the map. And the uh, escape route. See? It's kind of convoluted, but... Though, is this going to take me anywhere, or am I just going to run into like a dead end? I think I just ran into a dead end, which is kind of real inconvenient. Yep. Damn it, I thought this would be a shortcut. Damn you, fake shortcut. No. Uh oh. <laughs> Almost got stuck there for a second. All right. I know I should be relieved. Relieved that there's no evidence of us starting that fire. Relieved that we're not crazy. That there wasn't some conspiracy. But I'm not. He was a sweet kid. With a shitty father who hid out here like a coward after dumping him in a hole. Lila, I, I think it was an accident. And I don't think Ned meant to kill him. We don't know what happened for sure. That's true. Ned wanted his son to be able to climb and do the sorts of things he did himself, but Brian couldn't. And how'd that turn out, Henry? I'm sorry. God, it would have been so easy to tell the truth and have him sent home. I can't stop thinking about it. You didn't do anything wrong. Yes, I did. And now I've got to decide whether I tell people that he's down there so they can retrieve the body or not. And if I do, I'm going to be asked about Ned Goodwin. <laughs> D? Oh, fuck. Is that a helicopter? Yeah, hold on. Hey! No, there's one more. Yes, here, yeah. Yeah, he's coming. Okay, uh, one second. Hey, they're here, but they're making rounds. They'll come back. Um, I think 